So today's tip is about renaming your images to keywords. Now, why does this matter? Well, the Google robots come out and they read your website and they read your images. And if your images aren't keywords, you're not maximizing your search engine potential. For example, if I click on an image here on Jersey Mike's, one of my favorite sub places, and say open image in new tab. Now I right clicked to get that menu, not left click, but right click. And then I open the image in a new tab and you'll see an image is opening. That image is called dinner.jpg. Well, it should really be called something like subs and then city state.jpg. For example, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, so maybe sub sandwich Jacksonville Florida sandwich shop Jacksonville Florida dot jpeg anything that would bring me to find a Jersey Mike's locally in my city another example car dealers their websites are extremely uh, full of car images used inventory new inventory the inside of the car the outside of the car the tires everything RV dealers, boat dealers, anything with heavy images. I can go over here to the logo and right click and say open image in new tab and their image, their logo, especially on their home page, it's one of the first images that the robot is going to read, should be named something like Toyota dealership Jacksonville, Florida. Well, we see instead it's named logo png and that's a common mistake lots of people name their logos logos because they don't realize or their SEO person or their web designer doesn't realize that images should be keywords and you can do this for any image all of your images should be keywords so here's a little quote with a background image and if I click this one open image in new tab I see that it's named badge and I doubt people are searching typing the word badge into Google and trying to find a Toyota dealership. Here's a carpet cleaning site and you can see there's images all over. There's images that are obviously images. There's a book now button. That's an image. That's an opportunity to sneak in a keyword for the robots. Um, these are all images. So if you right click on an image and say open image in new tab it should say something such as carpet cleaning Jacksonville Florida dot JPEG but this is called fourth room free 100 pixels tall dot JPEG um, they did name some of them properly if you scroll down here to their little bucket images and you say open image and new tab on the carpet cleaning service you can see that it is actually named Jacksonville Florida carpet cleaning oops and so why is it important to name your images as keywords well here's a good example let's say I'm a bride and I'm looking for blue wedding cakes and of course a bakery in my local area that does blue wedding cakes or wedding cakes or blue anything um, would want to come up but what comes up first on the results you don't see any ads here. You don't see any ads on the right hand side. You don't see website links. And we're definitely on the website portion of the search. It brings up a ton of images. Well, some people do their searching through images. Some people through websites. Some people will click on videos first to, before they get to your site. Down here are all the, the websites, but you know, this is something I might say, ooh, look at that beautiful cake, click on it, and then in the next step, click on visit page over here, which would bring me to this person's website. So image naming is important and they should be keywords and it's just a tip to help you boost your SEO and your organic traffic.